Hey, 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 this is Helsey and Gray. Was it what a dooski? Okay, so the main three takeaways I got from today's uh, UOU Summit are number one, putting yourself, giving yourself to the time, the right to put yourself first. As a man and a father, and I think a generally good man, a person, I'm always looking at other people's, like, what can I do for them? What can I do for you? What can I do for her? Blah, blah, blah. And I notice that I don't always put myself first, right? Like at the, end of, at the end of my day, I ask myself, look at my journal, my one-step journal, and I say, did, did I do my one thing today? Did I get it done? And I look and I say, sometimes if I didn't, I'm like, why didn't I get it done? Was I doing something for someone else? Could I have cut that out? Could I have just said no to that person and actually got my stuff done? And so that's, that's the one thing that I am working on and I think is an, ex extremely important. M putting yourself first, to get the thing done, to make sure you develop and grow so that then we all can develop and grow. That's number one. <sighs> uh, number two, what's number two? Number two, number two, number two. Two thousand years later. Don't, oh, 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 okay, so number two, something else that stood out big time, big time, big time. They're all like, instead of just winging it, actually have a plan okay so this is really cool this is really cool okay so i call myself a type a personality back when we did the animal assessment i was extremely i was almost like gorilla and flamingo it out right my gorilla it's a possum walking through my yard my gorilla was um a little bit higher than my flamingo so true gorilla though gorilla and flamingo so now that that's happening uh, I look at it and the way I do things is kind of like CJ, right? I go in, I see what needs to be done, I get it done in the story. And what you guys were saying was success is methodical. S success is you go in, you see what's up, you get it done regularly, right? And like with other people, I'd say, hey, look at what's going on. Look at what we need to do and do it. Get it done. And some people in my group and crowd, even though they're successful they 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 have they they what i felt tonight was that dr t was like yo you've got the permission to do you at your level don't try to even out with everyone else don't try to stay on the keel spread with everyone else if this is you do you and hit that and so he was saying look he was basically saying the thing when you have that thing you go in you see how success is you hit it you make it happen it's a systems thing i'm big on systems i make systems and he's saying that i'm like dude he's like unlocking the doors because so i don't have to be so how can i bend myself to meet everyone else's needs mates instead i can just go bam i did it who's with me no one i'm still doing it um okay uh last thing last thing he made a big a big comment that he made that's been on my mind for a while is so I had I when I first came back to America I had this uh, job at this place so I'm gonna go into detail let's just say it was a job at a place nice place nice, nice, lovely people um, so one thing led to another and I learned it was uh, a little toxic and long, long story short I'm no longer there and I, I looked at myself and I thought to myself the way that happened, I don't ever want that to happen again in my life, ever. And so I'm thinking, okay, I don't ever want that to happen again in my life, ever. I don't ever want to put myself in that situation or give, have someone, allow someone to have that kind of influence over important factors in my life like that, right? And so I ask myself, I ask myself, how much time do we have left, right? Because Dr. E's like, yo, you don't got a lot of time. You got maybe this many years. Get it done now. Do that thing for you. And I guess maybe this goes back to UOU. Though UOU has, I guess, different aspects of it that are more reasons to focus on that main thing. And that is, I look at the time I have left and I'm like, I got a chance to shine. I got a chance to grow. If I hit it, sweet. If I don't, I learn. But just like he said tonight, face the fear and do it anyway. It's kind of cliche, right? But it's true. We face that fear, we grow, we hit it, we win. And so that thing is, I got this much time. 
I got to do that thing for me. I got to do that thing for me. So going back, quick recap from the OU Day Zero Origins uh, origin story. <laughs> Number one, you owe you. So actually making that time to to develop myself, focus on myself, give myself permission to give myself what I need. Number two, allowing myself to be that systematic person, to see the changes that need to happen, and to be okay with it and grow, irregardless of other people around me growing or not. Allowing myself to hone in on what I do and do it. And number three, becoming more so aware of the fact that I got this much time left. Do I want to spend that time doing nonsensical things for other people? I'd say something, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to stoke too many fires. Or do I want to be free? I don't just mean quote unquote free. I mean really free to live my life the way I want to live it and do the things I want to do and give myself a chance before I'm gone. So that's what's up. Why did they turn the light off? That's what's up. Okay. Thank you. Helsing out.